Zambia has joined the rest of the world on 31st May to commemorate the global campaign against tobacco. This year's World No Tobacco Day has been held under the theme Tobacco Industry Interference. The advocates of the No Tobacco campaign say about 5 million people die every year globally due to tobacco-related diseases. But the International Tobacco Growers Association says the campaign will disadvantage more than 30 million tobacco farmers who survive on the crop and that this will affect economies, mostly in the sub-Saharan African region. The Zambia Consumer Association Executive Director, Muyunda Ililonga, is one of the stakeholders supporting the No Tobacco campaign. We are aware of the harmful nature of tobacco. And it is important that uh, on this day, uh, international efforts are taken to highlight uh, the need to curb uh, tobacco consumption uh, because uh, tobacco consumption uh, leads to needless uh, disease and death. The Minister of Health Principal Mental Health Officer, Pasco Kwapa, says tobacco consumption has multiple health implications. Tobacco growers will go into poverty. They are just failing to tell the truth that there are alternative uh, uh, crops that uh, those people can grow, which can still give them income. Tobacco Free Association Executive Director Brenda Chitindi feels the no tobacco campaign should target the youths. If the youth can be empowered, at least financially, they will reach out to, to other provinces so that at least the message can be, can be reached to them. Both sides of the controversy, that is economic benefits of tobacco and health concerns, are valid. One hopes that an amicable position will be arrived at for both parties. Francis Lungu, Movie TV Business News, Lusaka.